Here's Andrew wedging Sandia Red Clay. Oh, I'm sorry, that's Anasazi 5X Clay. It's very smooth and nice, very red. Andrew does a kind of wedging called spiral wedging, <coughs> and he does it for a long time. Not really necessary with a clay, but it does make it a little easier to throw as it equalizes the moisture level of the clay. Now he's ready to shape the clay into a ball. He's walking over to a simple VL light wheel. It's about a $600 wheel. Works perfectly good. It spins around. Now Andrew is um, doing what we call centering. Centering the clay on the wheel head, using some water for lubrication. Centering, centering. And now he's coning up the clay. Uh, this helps equalize the moisture content. Some people call it wheel wedging. Now he's going to flatten it out, make it more into the right shape so he can open it up to make a bowl. Clay is good and centered now, Andrew. Uh-huh. Now he's opening up the bowl the, the, and using his thumbs, widening the hole and creating the shape, the initial shape, for throwing a bowl. He's preparing to throw uh, to pull up the walls and um, so he's pulling up. This clay is very plastic, very red. It's a cone six clay. It comes out a really nice kind of brown color. So it's on the second pull, leaving lots of clay at the top. Now he's got something that looks more like a flower pot, but I think he can change that. Keeps uh, refining the shape of the bowl. Andrew's still throwing his ball, refining the shape. It's looking like a pretty good bowl. Nice and even. Finding the shape.
top view. It's kind of hypnotizing. Still refining the shape. Hypnotizing. He's making a little spiral coming out of the bottom. There he is.